uh, here we are in the square of Nivitz, uh, where the project started uh, almost two years ago, where we came here and we found this totally abandoned, ruined place where nobody had any interest. And in fact, it took us a while to uh, think and uh, sort of uh, debate with ourselves, should we do something here or should we not? And the fact that it was an abandoned place and nobody cared kind of pushed us more about transforming and creating like a concept there are other uh, regions in Albania or maybe other people outside Albania would come and see it as a model. And it started right here in the center. We thought that uh, by creating a beautiful center, uh, but also a, a model for uh, sustainable of the architecture, vernacular architecture, we did some... Uh, study on local architecture because uh, the village has been uh, burned in 1913 during the Balkan War and then was burned again during the World War II. So there was not much of a tradition architecture left, so we had to study all whatever was left. So we came up uh, with an idea to uh, make a commitment to the village and to the region because obviously many people uh, would come and, you know, during election politicians will come and say we do this, we do that, but uh, the fact was that uh, people did not believe anything and when we started we thought that we'd make an example square where the, the village will take pride uh, on the work here. Now what we're trying to do here is to um, set an example, to set a model so other villages around but other villages in the south of Albania will understand that by protecting local architecture we can uh, create a big attraction so people travel here and come and see uh, uh, architecture, they see the local food, they see the landscape, so it's the whole sort of pieces of the bigger puzzle which make a place attractive, makes people coming here. For example, you see those guys there, they're working now, we are supervising on the way they do the arches of the gate, so they're going to do a beautiful arch gate, so slowly, slowly, this work here has inspired now other people who are here or others coming to restore their homes and for that reason we are preparing a management plan which will stand out, uh, set up standards of buildings, standard, uh, standards of architectural, standards of space, where can you build one story, one, uh, where you can build two stories. Outside in the fields you can have a farm house for example. So. We are putting all the standards and that will be a guideline for another, for another 10 years to come. So hopefully we're going to have a unified uh, village which will be a great example for other uh, places as well.